Hi folks, welcome to my channel and my first 2019 art supplies haul video. All the things that I'm going to mention today are things that I bought myself, except for one which my husband bought me. So this video is not sponsored and I will list all the items in the description box below. I've also been really excited to open this mystery box and I've been desperate to suss it out since it arrived a couple of weeks ago. So if you're curious to see what's inside, then make sure you hang on till the end of the video because I'm going to be saving that one till last. If you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new around here then please consider subscribing to my channel where I post twice weekly videos on all things art related. Hit the bell icon as well if you'd like to be notified each time I upload. So with all that said, let's see what we've got. So the first thing I got is this Frisk Mask Away which is a tool for removing masking fluid from a variety of surfaces. It cost me around £4.40 on Amazon but as with all the supplies mentioned today it might be available at a lower cost elsewhere online or locally to you depending on where you live. It measures about 5cm square and is just under 1cm thick and according to the info on the pack can be easily cleaned after use. It states that the mask away block can also be cut to shape for more detailed erasing. Now usually I would just rub my finger over masking fluid to remove it, but sometimes depending on your paper, which masking fluid you've used and how much you've applied, as well as of course how long you've left the masking fluid on your paper, you can risk tearing your paper as you pull the masking fluid off. So I thought this would be a relatively inexpensive way of minimising that risk and preserving my paintings, so I'm really interested to see how it works. Next up is the Frisk Magic Watercolour Sponge Erasers, which I've seen in shops before but never tried, so purely out of curiosity I thought I'd give them a go. These come in a pack of four and on Amazon at the moment cost £3.99. The manufacturers claim that their magic watercolour sponge erasers allow complete removal of unwanted watercolour paint from your paper. This is due to the microscopic fibres which, when dampened, develop a strong eraser-like quality which they say can even lift out old paint without damaging your paper, and I'm looking forward to testing it out. This specialist foam block can also be cut to size to allow for precision marks and effects, and I'm really keen to experiment with different watercolour paints to see if it can remove even staining watercolour pigments. It'll also be interesting to see how it works on different types of watercolour papers, but this block is chemical free, and after you use it, it can simply be rinsed out ready for next time. The instructions for use are very simple, just dampen the sponge with water and gently rub the desired area until the paint is removed and that's it. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this before and how you got on. Right, the third art supply in my haul is the Size Zero Versatile Paintbrush by Skoda. This is a short handled round rigger brush number 1549 and cost me just over £10 on Amazon. It is made from a blend of synthetic fibres, but the manufacturers say that it has all the attributes of natural Kalinsky. I've got a few Skoda Prado brushes and have really enjoyed using them so far, as they seem to maintain a nice point for details and are quite springy. But I've seen and heard of other artists using and rating the versatile brushes too, saying that they release water and paint more slowly than the Prado, which might give more control and a more continuous flow of paint. I've been after a size zero brush for a while and I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I have to say I also like the look and feel of the Escoda brushes as a whole. They're really well made and although synthetic brushes may not last as long as sable ones, they are a lot cheaper and as long as you look after them properly, I think you are getting good value for money with this brand. The next supply is another paintbrush, or rather a set of four paintbrushes, and these are the Princeton Velvet Touch Brushes, Series 3950. These are again synthetic brushes, and this selection includes a round size 4 brush, a long round size 8 brush, an angle shader, and a 3 quarter inch flat wash brush. This is a mixed media set of professional brushes suitable for acrylic, oil, or watercolour, and cost a total of £38.40, including delivery on Amazon. The main features of these brushes for me is the excellent colour holding capacity, as well as the precision tip and resilient spring, and again I've seen a lot of artists using them and they've certainly had good reviews. I'm keen to try each one of these brushes in the set, and it will be really nice to finally have a decent flat brush for a change, so maybe I'll try this out in a few landscape paintings on this channel in the future. 
Next up is this pack of 50 sheets of 100% cotton watercolour paper from the Bee Paper Company. This is a professional 100% rag cold pressed paper milled in the United States and each sheet measures 6 by 9 inches with a weight of 90 pounds or 200 GSM. It has a neutral pH and is described as archival quality and is well sized so has a maximum wet strength. Although it is not the thickest of papers, it was reasonably priced at £14.31 including delivery and I thought it would be perfect for smaller painting studies or to use on my paint with me, draw with me videos that I'm posting on this channel each Friday. Next up, more watercolour paper but this one is in the form of a sketchbook. This is the A5 Hanamula watercolour book which costs £16.25 from Amazon. This is a 200 GSM fine grained acid free paper providing ideal space for portrait or landscape paintings. There are 30 sheets of paper or 60 pages contained within a really nice hardback cover with an elastic band to keep the cover closed. The paper inside is naturally white in colour and I'm really really looking forward to trying this out. This is the sort of book that I can imagine packing up with some travel watercolours and taking outside to paint in and I've got a few ideas for up and coming videos with that in mind once the weather has improved. All in all though this sketchbook feels really good quality and with its fine grained slightly textured surface the paper can be painted on both sides so that would be interesting to test out. Still on paper for this next supply but this time we've got the Fabriano Artistico watercolour paper. This is 100% cotton and is hot press mould made paper. It comes in a pad of 20 sheets which are extra white in colour and weighs 300 grams or 140 pounds. The size of each sheet is 9 by 12 inches and this pad costs £31.35 on Amazon. Now this paper is one that I'm really excited to try out, maybe even with colour pencils for a change as it's hot press paper, or even a mixed media piece with watercolours and colour pencils. But either way I've seen and heard of other artists use this paper and absolutely love it. So I wanted to try it out for myself and may even do a review of it here on my channel. This paper is made in an Italian paper mill and contains no optical brightness or chlorine. It's also acid free and pH neutral. It has internal sizing making it perfect for all types of watercolour techniques and with the extra white colour I'm really hoping it will enhance the luminosity and vibrancy of my watercolours. This pad is also glued on all four sides, so it can be used straight on the block without pre-soaking or stretching. There is just a small opening at the top right hand side for easy removal of the paper from the block once you're done painting. Moving on to the next art supply and this is a ceramic mixing palette which I bought in December when it was on sale on Amazon for £14.55. It now costs over £32 but I do love a porcelain palette and this one was half price at the time so I couldn't resist. It's a large palette with 8 deep mixing wells and being rectangular in shape will sit neatly at my side when I'm painting. It's quite heavy and wouldn't be suitable to travel around with but it's so lovely to have in your art room or studio. Ceramic is a lot better for watercolours as the paint seems to spread out on the ceramic surface better than beading up like on plastic or metal palettes. It's also less likely to stain than plastic so it will stay looking nicer for longer. It's not an essential art supply and I wouldn't have bought it at full price but I'm really looking forward to using it. Next moving on to some paints now and these are a few of the Magello Mission Gold watercolour paints in 15ml tubes. I do have an old 36 set of 5ml tubes of these paints but I haven't used them recently as the set didn't come with a few colours that I rely on. So I decided to order these colours open stock and that way I'm more likely to get them out and use them again. The colours I ordered were Neutral Tint, Payne's Grey, Shadow Green, Mijello Blue, And last of all, just because it was pretty, shell pink. These tubes varied in price depending on the pigments used and I think the cheapest of them was the shell pink at £7.10 and the most expensive was the Magello Blue at around £13. It's worth shopping around though or even waiting for a while for prices to change or special offers to go on as all paint can be very expensive. Now this next supply was the one that my husband kindly bought for me and it's the Magello Bulletproof Glass Studio Palette to fit my new Magello paints into. 
I'm also not 100% sure of the price on this one, but I think it was around £50 on Amazon. I don't know why it's bulletproof glass, why it would need to be, or whether I'm just missing something here, but needless to say, I'm guessing this is a pretty sturdy palette, which has room for 50 plus 5 colours. So that's 50 slanted wells and 5 smaller corner wells. Inside there are 3 generous mixing areas, 2 smaller ones on the right, and 1 large one on the left. And you can also see gaps in the palette that I'm showing you now, which are for use when mixing up washes, to make it easier to remove excess water or paint from say a larger flat brush. It is quite big and again wouldn't be something I'd take outside or travel with, but it's really nice to display all your paints in, and I shall definitely have fun setting this up. Now finally it's time for the mystery box, and the supply I've been really excited to open. This art supply I ordered from Etsy after seeing Rin from Drawing With Ruffles try it out on her channel, and I'll put a link to that video if you haven't seen it. So I'm always looking for ways to improve my art, whether it be testing out new materials or mediums, practicing new techniques or simply by playing around in my sketchbook and watching tutorials here on YouTube. But in this box is a whole adventure into the world of watercolour, a step-by-step -step painting book with everything you need to practice, learn and improve your watercolour skills. This is the Inspiria watercolour course, with guidance and advice from Andrej, a Ukrainian watercolour painter who is ranked among the top 20 watercolour artists in the world. So this little box of goodies cost just over £54, so it wasn't cheap, but I figured that if I've got one of the top 20 watercolour artists in the world giving me tips, advice and step-by-step -step instruction on how I can improve my skills quickly, not to mention the materials as well, then it would be money well spent. So first out of the box is the watercolour dot card and palette, followed by the book itself which is printed on high quality Italian watercolour paper. Inside you have some information on the artists, who incidentally do recommend this course for both teachers and students of all levels of ability, and you can also send your pictures of your work to one of the artists. So then follows a step-by-step -step introduction to the terminology used in watercolour painting, techniques you can use and test areas where you can try them out. The rest of the book is made up of step-by-step -step painting lessons, which I'll talk about more in a minute. Also in the box are some sample papers, more paint, masking fluid, some artistic wax and a couple of round paintbrushes. So the whole aim of Inspiria is to inspire people to create and motivate them to feel better about themselves and their art. This course wants to awaken the artist in everybody and shows how everyone can learn really fast in just a few steps. So I can't wait to get started and I thought you might like to come along for the ride. So my idea is to work through a picture a week which I'll do as a real time video for Friday's Paint With Me session. I'm going to be doing the first one this Friday, so if you like this video and are excited to see how this painting course goes and maybe learn something new yourself, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Ring the notification bell too if you don't want to miss a video. Remember as well that all of the products I've mentioned today will no doubt come up in future videos, so if there's something that you're really keen to see, why not drop me a comment in the box below as well. I really appreciate all of your support, thank you so much for watching this video, take good care and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!